Hi everyone, welcome to uh, a little bit of an experiment on Does Nothing Gaming. Today we are unboxing the new Gonzadi Cruiser for the Star Wars X-Wings miniature game. And we're also going to unbox a uh, TIE FO fighter and a T-70 X-Wing fighter from the new Force Awakens movies. movie. If you haven't seen it, go see it. Pretty cool flicks. Seen it twice, uh, <clears throat> but this is not a Star Wars review. So, let's start with the Gonzati Cruiser. Massive box. To give you an idea, this is a regular blister pack, and this is the box. <clears throat> Crack this bad boy open. <sighs> Rules. Lots of rules, campaigns, upgrade cards, how to dock, things like that. Um, so that's pretty cool, rules. Here's the requisite tokens. Let's see what we got. Uh, we've got some TIE Fighters, uh, Youngster, Scourge, Wampa, and Chaser are some of the new pilots, along with the Obsidian Squadron Academy's Black Squadron pilots, as you may or may not know. These appear to be the old TIE Fighters, not the TIE FOs, so that's cool. I know FFG is attempting to get some of the TIE Swarm back into the game based on their preview articles for this. Here's the base for the, the cruiser, as usual. One side with your stats, one side with just star field that you can use as a <clears throat> that you can use as a obstacle. Here's all the maneuver dials and tokens, or what I like to call additions to my bag of bits. Um, I have probably more than enough shields and things to last me a lifetime. Uh, if you've been collecting. X-Wing, I'm sure you're either at that point, or depending on how much you buy, we'll get to that point very quickly. Anyways, tokens and range rulers, all that fun stuff. Um, if you have the other ships, you have basically all this stuff already. Uh, take a quick look at the Gonzati class cruiser icon. So, it's got a one forward, generates three energy, one, one banks that generate two energy, two banks that generate <clears throat> one energy, a two forward that generates two energy, and a three and four forward that each generate an energy. So let's hold that up to the camera so you can see it. Uh, pretty cool. Um, I'm really excited to try an epic game with this uh, just to see what it's like having said that, I don't know how you compete uh, as a rebel player against the um, against the, the raider and uh, see the, here. the raider and the uh, with the, the the rebel transport. It's not that great of a ship. Let me uh, get out. Here's the the bases. Let's get these bad boys out quickly before we do that I like to build the base just so it's nice and steady and I don't knock it over as usual building the base quickly here's the bag of here's the stands and the supports that'll actually house the TIE fighters so you can put TIE fighters and TIE bombers, TIE interceptors, uh, I don't think you can get the TIE Punisher on there after I read something, but uh, you can get pretty much any other TIE thing on there that you wish. Alright, yeah, you're going to go on that way. So putting this together quickly. Alright, massive box. 
big chunk of plastic that's going in the cart in the recycling. Recycle people. Uh, trying to get this guy out. Oh man. Oh, there's little tabules on it here. Wow, this thing is pretty. Oh, is it tied in? This is definitely okay. Let's get the Tie Fighters out. Cause I think I've got enough Tie Fighters for almost a swarm and a half now, and I'm sure some people will have enough for a couple of swarms. There we go. Oh, by far the hardest model to get out that I've experienced yet. All right, this thing. I have to say, I think. FFG has outdone themselves on this model. This is an absolutely incredible model. You've got this, I don't know if you can see it here, but uh, you've got a little satellite dish. You've got uh, some cannons there and on the bottom. I mean, this thing looks amazing. Now, uh, I've got one gripe. Small, very small. If you are an Armada player, you have seen the new Imperial Star Destroyer that came out, and all the engines are painted on it. And as you can tell, engines are not painted on this one. Not a big deal. Um, not a painter. But man, does this thing look good. Let's shove some of these supports on here. Sure, I can't screw this up too much. Famous last words. Okay, so these supports go in pretty easily, no instructions required, they have a little T thing at the top here, shove them in, drop it, <clears throat> it's very important that you drop it, if you don't drop it, it won't work, uh, give it a wee twist, and then you'll feel it, try this again, another wee twist, and last one, Another. We twist. So there's the feet. The uh, holders. You can see that there. It looks pretty good. Here it comes by. Let's drop it on the base. Maybe slap the base. Get in your home. Alright, this part. There's one. All right. <clears throat> okay. Uh, all right, I've got the base on. I'm gonna tell you right now, this was by far the most difficult pegs I've ever had to put on. So this thing ain't moving now that it's on. If I have to transport this for, a game. It's gonna be. Uh, it's gonna be interesting. Let's throw some some Tie Fighters on this. See if I can figure that out without reading the instruction manual. Looks like. Actually. All right. Seems like they go in. Upside down. Maybe it depends on how much you've twisted your foot peg here by the looks of it. But I've got them in. They're insecure. Now, in a game of millimeters, 
getting those things out is going to be interesting. Uh, but I gotta say, this model, as always, FFG has outdone themselves. It's fearsome looking. It looks incredible. Like it just looks amazing. The Tie Fighters hanging from it are pretty amazing. Uh, can't wait to get this guy into an epic battle. Hopefully, uh, Dan will be around for that pretty soon. There's the campaign sheet list that comes with it. Super quick look through the cards here. I'm not going to go into it because I'm not the best uh, deck builder. You've got your, your Gonzadi class cruiser title card here. Doesn't have the front and the back like usual. So it's uh, much like the Rebel Transport. You've got the Gonzadi class cruiser. It says after you execute a maneuver, you may deploy up to two dock ships. That's pretty cool. Bunch of upgrades, base cost of 40, 4 energy, 0 evade, 9 uh, hull, and 5 shields. Closer. <clears throat> That's pretty cool. You've got Scourge, Youngster, the rest are just TIE Pilot cards. I'm not going to get into those. You can read it on the FFG forums or BGG, a bunch of things like that. You've got your, your damage deck. Right here, um, let's see, any cool cards, you got Expert Handling, Exposed, Marksmanship, Iron Torpedoes, Cluster Missiles, Homing Missiles, all those you know because those are all old, Agent Callus is a new guy, Construction Droid, Rear Admiral Shirno as a huge ship upgrade, that's pretty cool, uh, he basically allows you to go do a one forward maneuver a white one for maneuver as an action so you can get your ties in a little bit faster and then uh, deploy them which is cool ordnance experts dual laser turrets broadcast array cluster bombs ooh. docking clamps it's a zero point upgrade card automated protocols once per round after you perform an action that is not a recover or reinforce action you may spend one energy to perform or free recover or reinforce action it's a five point upgrade card, that's kind of neat. Optimized generators, ordnance tubes. What the hell are these? Huge ship only modification. You may treat each of your upgrade icons as a bomb or missile upgrade icon. When you are instructed to discard a missile or an up, uh, bomb upgrade card, do not discard it. So it's a little bit like the. Uh, new card that came out the not munitions fail safe I'll put it here um, a little bit like that you can see it here cool artwork you can see it yeah there you go kind of cool and just to read it quickly Agent Callus since he's the big deal and in the Star Wars Rebels show which is a pretty decent show at the start of the first round, choose an one enemy small or large ship. When attacking or defending against that ship, you may change one of your focus results to a hit or an evade result. Huh. Interesting. It's two points for him. He's not huge ship only, so he's now a crew card that could be used in other places. Whereas, like, the construction droid which is awesome. There's some really awesome cards in this. Um, I don't think I'm going to get into them. I'm not the best person for card uh, synergy lists and things like that, but that's pretty awesome. I'm going to grab the Raider and the Rebel Transport just as a comparison, and then you do a quick close-up here. So there we have the Imperial Raider, the Gonzati class cruiser, and the decimator side by side to give you an idea of the rebel transport size it's right there <clears throat> tell you what in a team in an epic game that could be 300 points right there on three ships that is crazy um, I 
I, I gotta see this. And some epic, some team epic would be incredible. Um, my fleet is starting to look a little dull and gray, so if anybody's a painter out there and is willing to give me a hand, that would be cool, but I'm really liking the look of, of these ships altogether. That's a fearsome looking Imperial fleet. Alright, uh, let's move on to... Well, let's stay with the Imperials. So we're going to go for the TIE Fighter First Order again. Um, I'm sure you've seen it came out in the new pack. Uh, so I'm cutting open that blister pack now. I think they call it the blister pack because it basically shreds your hands. But I find the best way to do it is hack the top off, cut down one side, cut down the other side, peel that back. Peel that back, pull out your, your bits, then you pull out the ship, more recycling, then you get your X-Wing thing, more recycling. I tend to keep all my ships in, um, in a big Ikea glass case, um, that allows me to easier set up and, and tear down and stuff. So we're back, okay, so get rid of the more plastic. There's the TIE Fighter, there's the base. So if you've seen the other, if you've bought the Force Awakens base set, the new one, which I'm sure you probably have, you've already seen this bad boy. Having seen it in the movie now, they look really cool, really like them. Be interesting to see, and I won't spoil anything, but it'll be interesting to see if maybe there's a couple of variations on this based on what happened in the movie. So put that down. I can shove it on the Gonzati Cruiser and mix up my timelines if I chose. So the only other things in there, of course, are your your dials, your girls. Dials are known for this one. More stuff for the bag of bits, more uh, target locks and criticals and things like that. To be honest, I've got so many stress tokens, focus tokens, and evade tokens, I just toss half these things now. Um, but yeah, here's your pilots and your uh, dial. I'm sure you've seen the dial. Comes with a bunch, comes with some new pilots. I haven't seen these yet. Omega Leader, Zeta Leader, Epsilon Ace, Omega Squadron Pilot, Zeta Squadron Pilot. And Epsilon Squadron Pilot. So maybe it doesn't come with anybody. New. Enemy ships that you have locked do not modify any dice. When attacking you, it's got target lock, that's cool. Stress. These are new. Okay, that's cool. You got Omega Leader, which says it's a Pilot 8, 21 points. It's an expensive TIE Fighter, uh, but it does have a shield. Enemy ships that you have locked cannot modify any dice when attacking you or defending against your attacks. The Zeta Leader says when attacking, if you are not stressed, you may receive a stress token to roll one additional attack die. Alright, so that's pretty cool. Um, and their dials are pretty good at, at greens and stuff, so getting rid of that stress isn't bad, but of course double stress and stress lists are definitely out there. Uh, Epsilon Ace. When you do not have any damage card, treat your pilot skill value as 12. Ease up pilot skill 4, 17 points. That's an interesting card. So, mix that card with some of the other things. That's pretty interesting. Alright, <clears throat> that's that. What comes in this? Is this upgrade cards. Calm Relay. You cannot have more than one evade token. During the end phase, do not remove an unused evade token from your ship. Three point upgrade card on a TIE fighter with four health. It's a little expensive for my tastes. Um, and Juke. When attacking, if you have an evade token, you may change one of the defender's evade results to a focus result. So I'm guessing that is done before the defend or after the defender has 
spent any focus tokens they might have to change the results. But it's pretty cool. Five points of upgrades for a TIE Fighter. Not great, but I'm sure it'll be used in synergy elsewhere. And last but not least, we have the T70. Again, hack the the thing flew a long ways. Pack it on the side. That didn't work out. Alright. Come on, you T70. Bits! More bits of carbs! I know the uh, last pilot of this wasn't really released until the movie had come out as order not to spoil it. Oh boy. Um, more plastic. Here's our T70. I'm sure you've seen it. I don't think it's got a different paint job than the base set. I'm sure other people will definitely be Doing that, does it look like it does in the movies? A uh, little bit, yep. Yeah. It's pretty cool. You know, after... Uh, there we go. God, my photography here is not so good. After seeing this in the movies, I want nothing more than to fly a few of these. If you've seen the movie, they're pretty cool. If you haven't seen the movie, go see it. And all I'm going to say is Poe Dameron is a badass. So I can't wait to, to fly some of these guys. Maybe in an epic game. Hopefully I'll get one of those in. Soon, again, let's take a look at the upgrades and stuff like that. If I can get it out of the stupid bag. Alright, maneuver dial. And bag of bits. Then we've got the pilots, which is LOSD, Red Ace, Red Squadron Vet, and Blue Squadron Novice. So there's those, you know, usual tokens and things like that. More stuff for the recycling, because I'm not going to go. There those. All right, let's check it out. Wow, this uh, so cool hand is a new card. When you receive a stress token, you may discard this card to assign one focus token or evade token to your ship for one. Tar you can combine that with this targeting astromech, which says after you execute a red maneuver, you may acquire a target lock. So now, oh, for cool hand, you have to discard the card, but. Theoretically, you could get a target lock and a focus for free without even taking an action by putting those two together. Uh, when attacking, this is weapon guidance, when attacking, you may spend a focus token to change one of your blank results to a hit result. Hmm, pretty good, I guess, if the rest of your, if you haven't used it and you're attacking last. Integrated astromech. You can kill off this astromech, I believe. And then Vans Proton Torpedoes. Elo Asti says, while you are not stressed, you may treat your court the S turn maneuvers as white maneuvers. Wow. 30 points. So between him and Poe, you're looking at you know two ships. I don't know if that's gonna how much action that's gonna get in a list. Uh, Red Ace, the first time you remove a shield token from your ship each round, assign one of a token to your ship. Helps keep them alive a bit longer. And then you've got your Pilot 4 and your Pilot 2 generic guys. So, Elo and Red Ace are, are pretty cool. I'm not sure how much competitiveness they'll see, but you can build them up pretty good. There's Elo, and there's Red Ace. Um, that's going to be it for this unboxing. I'll give you one quick last view. 
you've got the T70, which people have seen. You've got your Thai FO, which is pretty cool. And the bad boy, the Gonzali Cruiser. That thing is amazing looking. Anyways, hope you enjoyed. Uh, Hope you enjoyed. Uh, like and subscribe. Let me know what some of your favorite ships are from uh, the new releases before Wave 8 comes out, which means if you got any money for Christmas, it'll be gone. Um, and let me know some builds that you might like. Uh, let's, let's chat. Follow us on Twitter at Does Nothing Game. Hopefully in the nearish future, we'll have a, another epic game using this Gonzati Cruiser and some Armada Wave 2 stuff. Thanks very much. Bye.